Already in the company of all time greats like Lil Wayne and Pac as the only artist to release a Billboard number one album from the pen, 23 year old NBA young boy is one of the youngest and most successful rap talents today, but he is also one of the most violent. It's no surprise then that he keeps fellows just as bad as him by his side. These are four of NBA young boys most dangerous affiliates that you don't want to mess with. Quando Rondo. He's the same age as his label boss, and like his boss, he has also been in a truckload of controversy. Serious controversy. The kind that involved the murder of Chicago native King Von. But wait, let's take it back a little, because there's usually no smoke without fire. And in this case, a lot of fire comes from the fact that Quando has spent a huge part of his childhood and teenage years in detention centers for a whole lot of crime. After his release in 2017, Quando, who was just 16 at the time, decided to join the Rolling 60s neighborhood Crips. And no, that's not the name of a retro rock band. It's the largest black criminal street gang in the city of Los Angeles. There have been many rumors that he has since renounced his membership, but many people will tell you that the man's already a menace. There's hardly ever going back. On the 12th of March 2019, Quando and his boss Youngboy were sued by a DJ named Carl Carper. Both Quando and NBA Youngboy assaulted him, beat up his face, cracked his tooth, and according to him, destroyed his reputation in the backstage of a performance in South Carolina. And this is all because Carl Carper said no to them when they called him to beat up a fan who had caused some trouble. Another major incident happened with King Von outside an Atlanta nightclub. As you could probably remember, there was a shootout on the 6th of November 2020 that was instigated by King Von himself. One moment Von initiates a brawl by throwing punches at Quando Rondo's crew. Another moment, everyone is running in every direction when Von is shot dead. Roughly a year later, Quando and his associates would be at the receiving end of heavy gunfire that left one of his friends dead. New details tonight in a deadly shooting near the Beverly Center. We've learned the victim is a friend of rapper Quando Rondo. And somehow, Quando survived once again. Besides gunfights and fatal face-offs, Quando has also been in the heat for arguably more controversial issues. In October 2021, Quando, who was already 22 at the time, came under fire when he began posting pictures of his girlfriend, who also happened to be a senior in high school. No one could tell her age at the time, and it's possible that she wasn't a minor. But still, it just felt pretty irresponsible. The life of a rapper's girlfriend is dangerous, and many have lost their lives getting killed by ops that were trying to get to their boyfriends. But you know Quando, he couldn't be bothered. And I'm sure no one in his inner circle would risk telling him that he was wrong. No cap. NBA Youngboy signed this Alabama native to his label in 2017. And ever since then, the 24 year old has gone on to have a very successful career. And you could say it, he deserves it. His work rate has been insane. Since 2017, No Cap has released six albums, one EP, and five mixtapes. And all this effort has paid dividends. In April 2022, his new project, Mr. Crawford, peaked at number eight on the Billboard 200 upon release. But before his album charted on Billboard, No Cap had already had several run ins with the law. But the one that got Got him in the most danger happened in 2019 and it involved his sister Brianna Crawford. Brianna had gotten into an argument with some individual in a neighborhood in their hometown in Mobile, Alabama. When the fight turned physical, No Cap was summoned by his sister and the moment he arrived, the person ran into their house out of fear. It was a smart move because No Cap then pulled out his gun and fired into the home of this individual. Local rapper is in pretty big trouble. Mobile police say he shot up a house and people were inside at the time when he did it. He's wanted for shooting into an occupied dwelling as well as reckless endangerment. While nobody died, the young rapper was immediately wanted by the police. He turned himself in and was placed on probation. In December of 2020, the young man violated his probation. Then he got on Instagram where he made a dramatic announcement. I got 30 days to turn myself in and my dukes tested positive for COVID this morning. Y'all pray for her. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone. I just want to appreciate my family, fans, and friends for rocking with me. Continue to do that while I'm away. I'm not gonna promise y'all nothing because I know the process of dropping an album is not overnight, but I'm most definitely pushing for the beginning of the year. Mr. Crawford, the album, so soon. He eventually turned himself in on the 11th of January, 2021, and was released some six to seven months later. Benny Big B. Benny Big B is an NBA artist, a blood brother of NBA Youngboy himself, and a less successful version of his brother. His best known songs include Rap Star, Smoke, and Time to Ride. Many people believe he has slept on. He's got something of a cult following among those who really mess with him. And frankly, I think he's pretty decent. However, he compensates for his lack of career success with the fearsome and ghostly reputation on the streets. He's been connected to several hits and yet no one has been able to pin anything on him. In fact, some people believe he has no bodies to his name. Do you believe that? In 2020, he posted himself on his IG with the rifle and a caption that read, I'm at war in my city. Behind them are three words I'm standing on. I'm trying to score. He was probably 
probably just taunting his ops. Or maybe he was issuing a real threat. No one knows. Big B has never been one to call out names when he moves like this. And it's probably wise on his part because he's almost gotten himself killed. The joke's on you, you diss now you getting repped on. Yeah. This was a shade on King Von after his death, and many people interpreted it as a diss on the dead, which was tasteless and probably angered a lot of people, people who wanted revenge. Because not too long after, and what might or might not have been related to the King Von diss, Big B was at a fuel pump when a rival gang member jumped him and shot him in his leg. Big B reportedly shot back and killed his shooter, but when he was asked in person, the young rapper denied it. I was doing my research, he said that the, the, I guess the person that, uh, He's a smart kid. DeAndre Fields. DeAndre Fields is easily the most dangerous associate that NBA Youngboy has, or in this case had, because right now he is facing the law. He is the one NBA associate with the most high profile body connected to his name. Yet somehow he managed to stay under the radar and invade the investigation for about two years after the hit. So who was the victim? G Money. Real name? Garrett Burton. We forget the dead pretty easily, so I wouldn't blame you if you have already forgotten the young rapper. Before he and NBA Youngboy began beefing, they were friends from another label called Top Boy Gorilla. But the moment NBA Youngboy got out of jail and became popular with the release of Untouchable, there was a huge fallout between the two. And sometime later, G Money would take part in an interview where he not only belittled the rapper's achievement, he disrespected Youngboy. And disrespected his sister. He mad, he mad about his sister too though. About his sister. Yeah, I had her a long time ago. And then the insults of all insults came in the form of a diss track named Industry, where he called Youngboy a sellout and dissed his sister some more. The lyrics are as explicit as you would expect a diss track to be. I know what's up with you. I never with you. I would have bust for you. I put my trust in you. Now I can't with you. Uh, had me looking for your cousin. He wanted to kill you. I put 30 under my pistol. My sister swallowed nuts, so I never kissed her. But I with her, so I never dissed her. There was no coming back from this. And I'm not saying NBA Youngboy was the one who ordered the hit. But a month later, Later, one moment G Money was recording in the studio, the next he got shot down by a shadowy figure in front of the same studio. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22 year old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Right now, police have not named any suspects or motive. One bullet to his head, that was what took him down. And for a long time, no one knew it was DeAndre Fields. Sure, they knew it had to be someone from the NBA game, but no one knew for sure who it was until the police figured it out. A lot of you are reacting tonight to the arrest of this man, DeAndre Fields, Baton Rouge Police, who they arrested him years after the shooting death of a local rapper, Garrett Burton. Back in 2017, Burton went by the name of G Money, he was found shot to death in the parking lot on Dallas Drive. DeAndre Fields was the hooded figure from the CCTV footage, and now he was headed for the pen for a long, very long time.